This is a pretty simple concept, but a really important one for biology. It's important that you understand the difference between the terms structure and function. You need to understand what each of them means and when to use each particular one and what's being asked of you if you're asked to state one of them. So first of all, let's look at structure. If you're asked about the structure of something, then we're talking about what's it made of or what does it look like. If you're asked about the function of something, then we're talking about, well, what's it do? What is its job? That's the difference between these two terms. It seems simple, but it's amazing how often students get mixed up between the two. With structure, we want to know what's it made of or what does it look like. With function, we want to know what's it do, what's its job. So normally to demonstrate this, I use a chair, but it's gonna get a bit crowded if I pull a chair up onto the desk at the moment. So I'm just gonna take this pair of scissors because really we can demonstrate this with anything. If, I, if, if you ask me about the structure of these scissors, well, I'm gonna think, okay, what's it made of? What's it look like? Well, it's made of uh, plastic handles and metal blades. There's sort of two handles and two holes, one's bigger than the other, and there's two blades and they're joined together in the center with an axis like that. So that's describing the structure of the scissors. If you ask me what's the function of the scissors, well, what's it do, what's its job? Well, the job of scissors is to cut items. That's quite simply their function. But what you can see when I've given you the answers to structure and function for the scissors is they're very different answers. And I'd look quite silly if you asked me what's the structure of these scissors and I said, well, they're used for cutting things, I'm obviously giving you the wrong answer. Vice versa, if you ask me the function of the scissors and I say, well, they've got two plastic handles and metal blades, that's not describing the function. So we need to get those sorted. We need to understand the difference between the two because in biology, we use those two terms all the time. A biological example, let's bring in this organelle. You should recognize it as a mitochondrion. And let's have a look at it. Okay, so describing the structure of the mitochondrion, we would say things like, it has an outer membrane and the inner membrane folds to form these things called cristae. It also has some mitochondrial DNA inside of it and it has a bit of an oval shape. So I'm describing what it's made of and what it looks like. If you ask me about the function of the mitochondrion, I'm gonna give you a totally different answer. I'm gonna say, right, the function of the mitochondrion, it's the site of the latter stages of aerobic respiration, where energy is produced. Notice that those two answers are totally different. That's because structure and function are totally different. I really hope this lesson's helped you to understand the difference between them. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Oh, <laughs> my